I remember being in school uh, when I did go um, and just sitting in class like this shit is boring. You know, I, I mean, there's nothing exciting about sitting here learning about people 500 years ago um, for a couple of reasons. One, because the teacher wasn't making it interesting to my liking. And two, because um, I don't think they showed everything that needed to be showed or taught <clears throat> in the realm. They just gave you a specific point of what they wanted to show. And I didn't think that was fair. So what I did was I took my own initiative to say pretty much fuck school. What I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to take, take my personal time and I'm going to research the same subject just in all aspects. Fuck with that one thing they talking about. That one speech Martin Luther King did that they keep talking about. All right, well, what else did he do before that? What troubles did he have to go to? You know, who was the people around him? What did they do? How did that work? What missions did he have to accomplish to make that speech? You know, all that is, is never talked about. And uh, it takes a, a person who thinks outside the realm to say, well, I'm not gonna just listen what somebody tells me. I'm gonna figure it out on my own. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna research this a little more. It's nothing for me to sit on the computer for 10 hours and just do research. And, and I'll be real, it's not 10 hours straight. You know, um, especially being on computers, you know, your eyes get tired. You know, you might wanna get up, stretch or something. You know, smoke me a blunt, relax, smoke a mile. But straight 10 hours, with a, all together, probably a 30 minute to an hour break, you know, just on the computer research, you know. And uh, my mind is not as good as it, it used to be in high school, so I, I gotta write down a lot of stuff that I used to didn't have to, but uh, my mind is still amazing. You know, I still can remember a whole lot. And uh, what I don't remember, I write down until I do remember. <laughs> so um, that's just pretty much what I do, man. I love, I love knowledge, I love research. I still, I got a, uh, right now, once I go back in the house, finish doing about 10 or 15 videos, uh, I got some vocabulary words that I'm studying, you know, to increase my vocabulary. I got some Spanish that I'm doing uh, to try to get into that market of a Spanish market where when we go and do business elsewhere, I'm able to converse with uh, people of a different language, uh, which is powerful, which is powerful. Uh, in the military, um, they like people that speak two, three, four different languages because you're traveling so much. Um, you got to be able to um, to converse with with people of other cultures. Uh, translators, uh, money-wise, they make up more than the average because they can converse with more than the average. You know, so the more you can do, of course, the more possibilities that you have. So I just try to increase that. Um, Another thing I, I used to do is I used to watch movies, and not for the sake of the story, but for the sake of see, seeing what people was doing inside the movies. You know, like uh, take uh, Ocean's Eleven, for example. Uh, you know, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Bernie Mac. Uh, just watching how they converse with each other, even though uh, it's a movie. And, you know, it's motion picture, it's, it's not real, but just to see how they interact in Vegas, you know, on that level. Uh, 1930 movies, see how they talk different, how their information was spread different. Um, just all types of stuff. Music uh, from the 70s, now to today's music. Just incorporating all these things into what you do now. Uh, it, it broadens your horizon by 150%. By knowing all these things, uh, it increases your chances of being in a realm of multiple different types of people. And because there are people who still uh, focus on 1970s. And there's a lot of, there's people, if you talk to married couples or stuff, their core and their mentality is still of the 70s, or the 50s, or the 60s, or the 80s. So if you don't understand the 70s, 60s, 50s, 80s, how are you gonna be able to reach out to those people? It's not possible, you can't. So, uh, 
knowledge is power. And uh, I try to soak in as much knowledge as possible. As much as possible. And, uh, I mean, it works for me. You know, I'm not taking the saying from the worst energy drink. You know, it works for me. I'm just saying that's what works for me. Boy, little brother, man. Prince of the Glory.